Skull, and welcome back to Valkyrie's Art Corner. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notification when my new video comes out. We're going to be working on one of my original favorite characters from the very first anime series I ever watched. It is Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Now, the picture I'm doing, I'm pretty sure he's on Earth for this one, but it will be in his Super Saiyan mode. And just FYI, uh, it does have a little bit of a damage and blood markings on him so if you're very sensitive to even imagery of that please turn away now um, so what I did right here is I'm painting in a background with the sky and some mountains just to kind of set the, the scene for it and then just I'm not really making anything too definite just trying to uh, just emphasize a little bit on the background and then now I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna draw on the head I added some clouds in the background because I thought the sky was a little bit plain so um, I did that while the camera was off so right now don't mind my head um, I'm drawing a head on the canvas or his head on the canvas so I'm just kind of general outlining where everything's at so that way when I finally do start painting him I know about where it is. I know some of the lines are going to get covered up as with the other videos, but it helps keep in place where everything's going to be at. Now, if you're not familiar with Dragon Ball Z, that's one of the original, or as some people say, OG animes that most people watch to get into it. So um, they have a lot of different series. They have Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Afterlife, and then they have a whole series of games that they keep coming out with and just adding more and more characters and it's an overall fantastic series um like i said it's a little bit more for the mature anime viewer but i watched it when i was 12 <laughs> so um yeah it's just pretty much it's up to you if you're a parent letting your kid watching it so um there is a lot to doodle in here to kind of and you can kind of see how it's going to start turning out But yeah, Goku, just to give another, a little bit more background, his name is also Kakarot. He's a Saiyan from uh, the planet Vegeta. And, oh, I think I know where this scene is. It's, uh, I think he was actually in a fight with uh, Vegeta, and then some bad guy came in, and of course they teamed up and did all that. So, all right, we're going to do the skin tone, which is a mixture of brown, yellow, white, red, and blue. Or unless you have a premix, which sometimes I use for saving time and saving on paint, but in this case I didn't. So you're just going to paint in everything base-wise for his skin. And what I'm going to do is after all this is painted in, I will uh, let this portion of it dry. Because when I add in the blues and the yellows, it has a tendency to just drag it. So, um, yeah, after I paint all this in, get it covered, I'm going to start painting in the blue for his, uh, his shirt and the yellow for his hair. Okay, so after it's dry, now we're going to paint in the blue. And I'm going to make it look like it's a little bit torn. Again, he was in a battle, like he normally is, three episodes later, screaming. Um, anyway, <laughs> any true Dragon Ball Z fans will get that reference. So, um, yeah, just uh, painting in his shirt. Just making sure that's all filled in. Now, on this part right here, my camera glitched out and stopped recording and makes me very, very upset. And um, now, poof, he just has all yellow hair. So, yeah, I need a new camera. <laughs> so, now that we spread, sped through that and got all that done, um, now I'm just going to go in here and kind of fill in the light parts of it before I start adding into some shading. And then just 
finishing up off the base. See on the second coat of this, um, I tend to just go straight into the shading. It's a little bit easy to manipulate when you're having a, just a little bit of a dry, wet surface and trying to go in with a dry brush. Um, it makes things a little bit easier to do. It just takes time and practice. Um, and then now I'm going to go in here with a little bit of dark. I know it looks dark right now, but I'm just going to layer and layer and layer and layer to kind of even it out. Get his dramatic shading going on here. And then we're just going to do this all over his face and all over his neck and his, his chest and just uh, give him that pop that he needs. And then you always want like a shade where like hair is lapping over or anything like that. So you want to take into consideration he's outside where it's bright and sunny. So it's going to naturally be uh, darker, really dark in some areas and really light in some areas. Especially since when he powers up his uh, key would surround him and make a abnormal light around him so you can actually physically see it. And then just adding in layers. So if I didn't like a certain type of shading, I could just go back in with the skin tone and kind of lighten it. And in this case, I'm actually using a lighter version to kind of give highlights. As I'm zipping along here. And then doing the dry on wet technique, the dry stuff you actually put on top dries quicker than the wet stuff underneath, uh, which makes it easier to manage so you can continue on and just shade and shade and shade and shade and finish up on your painting. And then I'm going in with a lighter tone now. And then highlighting him. And then there will be some points where I'll actually go lighter on the highlights, so that way it emphasizes the different shades and everything like that. That's on this character. And then we're gonna, I forgot to shade in his ear, so that's what I'm gonna do here. Fortunately, I left the shading mix alone. So um, yeah, I went back in there and just did that and just now just adding the high, oops, he has a white mustache. <laughs> it's okay, that's just the highlight. When we actually go in here with the marker and stuff like that to make him pop like he, how he should, um, it'll even that out. And then now we will color in his eyebrows. I know we colored in the hair first, but since we were working on the face and the shading and everything like that, we needed to wait on those eyebrows. So now we can actually add in the color for the eyebrows and that'll be good. So now I'm going to paint in the white of his eyes. And there we go. And then I forgot to add some shadowing in his mouth. And then he has like these pale blue eyes. Because that's what happens. Because normally Goku's hair, if you're not, like I said, if you're not familiar with him, he has jet black hair, jet black eyebrows, and jet black eyes. So when he transforms, he turns into a total blondie. So, <laughs> so doing the same thing up here. Just adding in shading. Um, covering in any see-through areas that we might run into and this will continue on until we are done. I'm going to add a little bit of brown into it because his skin tone will actually reflect into his hair. If you have lighter toned hair and you take a picture out and outside, the inside of your hair looks darker than the outside, not only because the sun doesn't get to it, but it's actually reflecting some of the skin tone that you have. All right. Just building on the color right here. So now that we have like everything done on his face and everything, we're getting his hair. 
the skin on him is pretty much practically dry so I don't have to worry about accidentally putting my hand in it or anything like that so and now we're going down here I'm gonna add a lot of black into the blue uh, like mixed together so it doesn't give it like a straight up all black tone to add the shading to his shirt and then go around and as I'm painting this this too will quickly dry because I'm doing more of a dry on dry technique at this point because the blue should be dry completely and then just adding in highlights then now we're going to add in the battle damage that he received while fighting because I mean who's gonna make who's gonna make it believable if you're in a fight and you have no damage so we're, we're adding in his battle damage to kind of show that he was in a fight now we're gonna take the marker starting from the top and making my way around the picture to highlight and give him that more traditional uh, anime look and actually make him look more like how he's supposed to now I could have gone all out and attempted to make him realistic looking but what fun is that so we're just going to finish up on his hair make any lines that we need that's necessary and then add in these extra lines to show where the extra strands of hair are and we're going to do the rest of his face and draw the black lines in where the battle damage is and then his eyebrows get his eyes and they have these little marks all over it it's to show that he's angry and one thing you'll notice at the end of the video there was a few lines that I forgot to put in but I did put in after I shut the camera off um, to uh, finish the picture and I did uh, put at the end of this video the actual final picture of what he looks like so you just go through here just make some lines and adjust and then you sign your picture and then this is the final picture so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later